Boosting your LinkedIn profile takes more than just sharing posts. You have to reach out to your perfect clients. LinkedIn offers more than just social networking. It's a fantastic tool for making connections, finding leads and expanding your business. The problem is that the process takes a lot of manual work and a lot of time. And that's where Closely comes in. Warning. Now, before I show you the platform, I've got a flag that this is a very time limited offer. It's only available for the next few days. I've put an affiliate link down below if you wanna go check this out. First thing is that this is a very easy to use platform. It didn't take me long to figure out how it all works. To connect to your LinkedIn account, you can either enter your email address and password, or you can sync via their free extension. Now that's the method I chose, and all I had to do was open the extension when I was on LinkedIn, press connect my account, and it synchronized the account. Going back to the dashboard, you can see it takes a couple of hours to fully synchronize the account, but that doesn't stop you from exploring the tool. So let me give you a quick look around. So here's the inbox feature. There's a campaign feature. You can manage multiple LinkedIn and email accounts depending on your plan. There is a link to this point feature, but this isn't actually included in this deal. This is a separate product that you would need to have a code for, and it's basically a calendar app. So it's not required for any of this. There's the lead finder, which is really good actually. It's very rapid. You can run email campaigns. There's a link to get the extension that I've just shown you. You can integrate this with HubSpot or a different type of platform using webhooks. But now let's dig into the real power of this platform and that's the research and automation. So the lead finder allows you to search by company name, job title, seniority. You can just type in the kind of work they do and it'll bring up a list for you to choose from. You can choose where they are in the world and the results come back very quickly. I'm very impressed. So let me demo that with a company we all know, which is AppSumo. So when we search for AppSumo, you can see it's actually bringing up three groups that match that. So I'm going to select all three. I'm going to click search. I haven't edited this. I've clicked search. Look at that. Comes up straight away. Super rapid response. Now, if we scroll down, we can find Chief Taco Tickler Noah. If we click on the little LinkedIn icon, that will ping us over to his profile. And this is where the sidebar uh, extension comes in because we can now load extra information while we're viewing his profile we can see about the company this does take a little bit longer i found than the main uh, section but you can see we've got some good details here if you want to learn more about the places that people work if we head back over to the main closely app though let me show you what we can do next so we can now press this button and this will try and fetch contact details so emails and phone numbers and it will give a confidence indication via the little dots we've also got the ability to visit the website just by clicking on a link it also tells you where they are in the world and then we can head into the automation section so you could or decide to contact all of these people if you wanted and add them to a campaign but for the purposes of this demo i'm just going to add noah and show you how this works so to run a campaign you will need a list of people so i'm going to tick and so we could tick the whole list, but just one in this case. I'm going to create a new list. I'll just call it AppSumo. And then I'm going to add the contact to this list. So you can see this process is very quick. And there we go. So that's now added. So when we hit Create Platform, you select your account. And you could select an email address. I've not set it up yet, but you can see I'm in the warm-up phase. So this is to ensure your account doesn't look suspicious to LinkedIn. It will limit the amount of connection requests and messages. I'll give it a campaign name and then we'll choose our audience. Now, this is really the one section that needs improvement. And I saw this in another video. We can do a LinkedIn search. We can import from CSV. We can do post engagement event attendees, group membership. But there's no option to import from the list that we've just created, which I find bizarre. And this was highlighted on another review video I saw. And that was a year ago. So in a year, they've not address this which I, I think really needs looking at because it's extra steps that just shouldn't be required you should ha have import from list and job done but if you want to import from group attendees group members you grab the url paste it there click save and next and it will go and grab them so there's a lot of time saving tools here you don't have to extract that data yourself closely we'll do that via the linkedin searches post engagements event attendees or group membership for the purposes of this demo, I had to go back to the lead section, find the list. I had to export the list. I had to tell it that I which uh, contacts I wanted, whether I wanted it valid or valid and risky. Once I exported the risk, I had to go back to the campaign, import it, 
and then you'll see you can match up the data with the various sections so if you've got a data list from elsewhere this is where you match it up and tell closely what each of the columns relates to and that way it will know the first name last name email and so on now this next section i really like this is super simple this is where you build your campaign you can do like post connection request view profile endorse skills and if you had if i had an email set up i'd set up an email as well it will automatically wait one day between and at the moment i can see that this can be increased by x number of days you could wait 10 days 20 days whatever but you can't reduce that to less than a day i don't know whether it's waiting for my account to be warmed up before that can happen we'll have to see if you send a connection request and you want to include a message it's got some pre-built templates i've actually seen some information that suggests sending connection requests without messages is actually better for you and you get a higher response rate than sending a message but if you do want to send a message it's very easy to build so you can see we've got the left hand side is me building it the right hand side is the preview so you can make sure that your message is going to look good and has the right information merged super quick and simple to set up once you've done that you are ready to launch your campaign I really like that it's got an exclude people who are in other campaigns. That ensures you're not accidentally spamming people with different intro messages if they happen to overlap in a couple of different groups or they're in a couple of different data sets. As you've seen, the whole process doesn't take particularly long. It's very intuitive. And there we go. We're up and running with my first campaign. While I wait for the results of that, let me show you what a synced account looks like. So you do have a network management so you can see all your contacts. You can filter them. You can also assign tags to them. You can add custom tags as well. So you can use this as a full sales tracking system and see where you're up to in the sales process if you're using this for prospecting. The inbox is brilliant. It pulls in your messages so that you can see them all in one place. And this just saves you having to flip back and forth. Although at the moment, all I'm getting is requests for reviews on product hooks since I left a few reviews there. People seem to contact me and think I want to review things I've never used before. Before I show you the email section, let's just talk pricing. Forget plan one, that's a waste of time. There's just very little included there. Really, this starts at plan two, that's $118. And this is where it unlocks all the extra features. Just look at all that compared to plan one. You get a decent amount of credits, but at plan two and three and so on, you actually don't get any additional LinkedIn profiles. You actually have to have, I think it's 10 profiles to get an extra email seat and LinkedIn seat. Now that might sound quite expensive, but if we go to the upgrade tab within the platform, I can show you the pricing that they would normally charge. And so if you are planning on using this with a team, the higher price actually is pretty reasonable compared to what you would pay annually with them for the same level of access. If you do plan to use this for emails, you can only use it with Google or Outlook and you simply click the relevant button and follow the process to get it set up. You can then set your time your work time and that just ensures it's not sending out emails late at night when actually everyone's asleep and you can also set this up with a tracking domain i have to say the instructions throughout closely have been very well done and thought out there's lots of videos to help you get everything in place adding an email unlocks new options in the campaign builder so you can view and like and all the rest of it with linkedin but then you can send an email now again this can't happen at the same time. This has to wait for a day and then it will do it. And it's got a very simple email builder. It's got the usual subject. You can have variables in the subjects. And when you start typing, you see it's just got a nice simple canvas. You can do all, do all the usual formatting. You can add links and we can insert more variables to have names. And we can also add fallback phrases as well. So if there's a piece of data missing, it won't leave the space blank. It will insert the fallback phrase that you put in. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, check out this video on HexoSpark.